church family, it's Ari, and it's a blessing to be back with you here today. Uh, why don't we pray before we, um, before we turn to the Lord's word? And uh, so, Father, I just thank you, God, that you, um, Lord, have given us our very breath, Lord. Um, and we're, we're desperate for you, Lord. We're desperate to, to breathe you in, Lord, and to live by your spirit. And so, God, would you just, um, just teach us a bit today and um, open up our, our minds, our hearts uh, to focus on you and your faithfulness, Lord, and, um, and on your design, Lord, of us. And we give you thanks for, um, Lord, all that you are, your faithful uh, character. And um, we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, as you know, I, I love studying um, or looking at God's design and uh, looking at how it reflects uh, and relates to our spiritual life. And recently I was reading a bit on breath and breathing and I found it really fascinating, uh, the effect of, um, of breathing on our lives. Um, so this doctor, Alicia Murray, uh, studied specifically um, you know, breathing and how it correlates to people with um, anxiety and panic attacks. And um, she found that you could actually predict uh, panic attacks an hour before they occurred um, based on changes in breathing pattern. Um, and so, you know, I found that really interesting just how uh, important the influence of breathing on our lives are. You know, when we're living in fear and worry and anxiety, uh, maybe we receive some difficult news or we have a shock, we, you know, gasp and we don't breathe out. We just kind of uh, stop breathing for a moment. And, you know, all of that, you know, stopping breathing, changes in breathing, it, uh, it affects our sympathetic and our parasympathetic nervous system. You know, it, it um, which is, you know, if we're living in a calm state or fight or flight response. So all of that, you know, very scientific, but it made me think of um, the word and what it says about breathing and what it reveals about man. So the word for breath in Hebrew is ruach, and um, in ancient Greek or Koine Greek, it's pneuma. And both of those are used very similarly to mean uh, breath, wind, spirit. Um, sometimes they, they mean thought or purpose. And so these words that, you know, mean breath, spirit, and wind are used throughout the, the Old and the New Testament, you know, um, and there are pictures of breath and life, you know, found throughout God's stories of redemp story of redemption. Uh, in Genesis, starting with where we were, were created, you know, with God's breath in us. Genesis 2 verse 7 says that when God breathed into man, he had formed, uh, he had formed Adam, uh, he became a living being. So man was specially created by God's breathing um, some of his own breath, his own spirit into him. In Ezekiel 37, you know, God gives the promise of his renewal for Israel uh, when they're in Babylonian captivity. You know, the prophet speaks of the valley of dry bones. Uh, but the Lord says in verse 6, I will put breath in you and you will come to life. Then you will know that I am the Lord. And what a picture of new life, you know, his spirit, his life, his power in, you know, what was once lifeless and dry. And uh, in the Gospel of John, Jesus appears to his disciples after the resurrection. John 20, verse 21, Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, even so I am sending you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, receive the Holy Spirit. So, you know, we have his very spirit empowering us, um, you know, his life, his breath in us. And when we face challenges or worries, you know, do we, do we stop breathing? You know, do we panic and feel powerless and forget that his, his very spirit, his very breath is in us? And so I just want to encourage you not only to breathe, you know, physically, because, you know, we have a God that is sovereign and, and we don't need to fear. Um, so just physically breathe, but also remember that his very breath, his spirit and his power, 
dwells in you. And uh, I just found that to be very interesting and I hope that encourages you today. So uh, why don't we pray as we close? Well, Father, I'm just so grateful, Lord, for uh, for your word, Lord, for your truth. Um, Lord, just illuminating um, who we are, Lord, illuminating your design of us. And uh, God, we just pray that you would help us, Lord, um, when we face worries or concerns or shocks, Lord, would you just um, help us to breathe, Lord, physically, but also spiritually, Lord, um, to continue um, to breathe from your very word, Lord, and from your very Holy Spirit in us. Um, and so, God, we just uh, pray that over our church body, Lord, and um, those that we love. And uh, God, would you be glorified today? And uh, we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, church family, I love you and I will see you soon.